Hey jackass, for your first assignment you'll be reviewing these spreadsheets. Thank god I don't have to play whatever shitty game you- <coughs> Dwarf Fortress is very fun and might have a little too much depth. It takes place in medieval Ireland at the height of the Great Potato Famine, where the Irish didn't have one of the two magical ingredients that make an Irishman. They reverted back to their original form to repopulate. Dwarf Fortress is a game about making a fortress for these Brave souls or something. I don't really know. I got bored within 30 minutes. Real game starts with adventure mode, where you generate a world the size of an actual fucking continent in 200 years of fucking history. And depending on your computer, this may also take close to 200 years. Only then can you customize your character's race, their name, their profession, where they are from in that individual world, their beliefs, profession, what your character is good at, plus individual skills, their value and personality, and their starting equipment, how good that equipment is, their pets, and their pets' names. Once you figure out your character's life story, you can finally play the game. Well, what am I doing? I don't know. Figure it out. Once I got my first character sorted, I walked 100 yards, and the game crashed. Brilliant. I made my second character to be a tank at the cost of being a human, but his kinesthetic and spatial senses were so low that he can only move five feet either left or right, and so I made him punch his pet bear and left him to die there. My third character was a tiger man who was called Kameda Kameda Sita Sita Kameda Kameda Kameda. He couldn't speak very well, and when he could, he accused people of being various creatures of the night. After mauling a wood elf he thought was a vampire for 30 actual minutes, he set off on a quest against religion. Why he did that, I have no idea. I was definitely not the one controlling his actions. After finding a group of monks, he mauled them all, while the others kind of just stood and watched. He later bled to death, with this pet crow nowhere to be found. I think I might need therapy. My fourth and final character was a goblin called Joblin Muthifidum Quetsek Earth Ramus Wastik. He somehow managed to integrate into modern society and infiltrate a local village. He wasn't very physically strong, but was very strong-minded. Too bad my own mind isn't that strong, and I couldn't figure out the conversation system. So I ran around yelling, barging into people's homes about how they were creatures of the night. Then I ran down a mountain and climbed back up into town, like the lunatic I strive to be. It was at that point I discovered I could throw things, so naturally I grabbed one of the two silver coins I had and threw it at Jeff over there. Turns out that was the strongest coin in existence. Jeff, having his knee twisted, his ear battered, and his gut and his ego bruised, dropped his knife, which I picked up and stabbed him in the lung with. I picked it up and then ran around slashing, whipping, and stabbing the other townsfolk, enjoying their Sunday in their homes, like the lunatic I strive to be. I then ran far away from that town and into some haunted woods, and was immediately eaten alive by a dingo. Moral of the story is, don't ever trust a goblin. Or me, don't, like, just uh, stay far, far away from me. You really messed up this time, Todd. This is a good-ass game. I give it a perfect score, with all the freedom this game gives me. Cataclysm is set in modern-day Flint, Michigan, created by the Canadian government to raise awareness for the pollution that Flint produces on almost a daily basis. If you could say that Dwarf Fortress plays like a spreadsheet, then Cataclysm plays like a motherboard's BIOS. My first character was a weeaboo named Kyle, spelled with a CK and no E. I'll let you figure that one out. He wasn't very good at anything, so when the safe zone I was in got raided by zombies, I tried to throw a Boston Anime Con magazine at them in self-defense. Where Kyle threw it was not at the horde, but six feet away. A spitting image of most people watching this. I then ran directly into the horde, got beaten up, then incited violence in the camp and was immediately cornered and beaten to death. My second character was a diagnosed high-functioning psychopath who was a fan of the native wilderness. I walked around for a while and was immediately ambushed by zombies spitting flint's water at me. I succumbed to my injuries almost immediately. My third character was a crackhead who was resistant to almost anything from being on bath salts and stunk like hell from being on bath salts. 
I came across a woman, within the first three seconds of being in the game, who was infected with the plague and asked me to get an antidote. I figured I would be able to steal her stuff, as Flint, Michigan is a lawless city, but she killed me almost immediately. Alright, maybe this game isn't for me.